Hi, this is Chris. Welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to change the background colour of an Active Inspire page. Now this is especially important if you have any children in your class who suffer from Erlen syndrome, which can make it very difficult to read text on a bright white background. So to do this, I right click on an empty space on my flip chart page and choose Set Background. From here I need to select the two colours I'd like to use for my background. The reason we need two is because Active Inspire initially wants to have a gradient fading from one colour to another. So if I want to have a solid background I have to make sure I select both colours as the same. Once I've selected my colours I simply click apply to see how it looks. You can see here if I change one of the colours to blue how my background now fades from green to blue. I could change the other one to yellow and you can see we now get a different effect. So this is quite a fun way of creating some snazzy backgrounds, but of course for Erlen Syndrome you'll want to have a solid background, so you'll need to make sure that both colours are the same. Now of course the changes we've just made are only changes for that particular page. If I were to move on to a new page it would take me back to having a plain white background. To get around this I actually need to change my default background colour. To do this I click on the Edit menu and select Profiles. From here I need to go to the Settings tab and select Flip Chart. From here I can set my default page colour by clicking on the white box and then choosing the colour I'd like to use. When I'm finished I click on Done. This won't change the page I'm on now but it will change the background colour for any new pages. And as you can see as I create new pages for my flip chart they all have my default background colour. So this is fine for any text or annotations that you might put on your flip chart page but anything that you've taken a picture of, let's say a web page, might still appear with a bright white background. Let's have a look at an example. Let's say I'm teaching my class how to use the Google search engine. I've used the snapshot tool in Active Inspire to take a picture of the Google homepage. It's still coming up as bright white and I'd like to change this. To do this I click on the image and then select this button here and choose Property Browser. Under the miscellaneous section I can specify how this image should appear as transparent. Firstly I need to select transparent to be true and secondly I need to choose what the transparency colour is. This is effectively the colour that will disappear to reveal the background. With this snapshot of the Google homepage I'm going to set my transparent colour to be white. As you can see the white background of the Google homepage has now disappeared. Of course if my background colour wasn't one of these palette colours then I could click on the pipette and select the exact colour that I'd like to become transparent. It's worth pointing out that this function can be a little hit and miss, not because of the functionality of Active Inspire, but because of the quality of images that we might copy and paste into our flip charts, so it might not always work for you. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.